Hello everyone and happy Friday. I am Ty Guy Travis and this is Where is Zur, the IGN show where we find Zur and we look at his inventory together. Today you can find Zur in the tower, all reliable. He's hanging out in the hangar on some uh, steps. So let's go and check him out. All right, once you've landed on the tower, go ahead and immediately turn to your left and uh, follow some paths and stairs until you eventually arrive in the hangar and you're gonna find uh, Zur hanging out near kind of a ledge. All right, and here we are, so let's take a look at what he's got this week. May we speak? First up, taking a look at his exotics, he's got Skyburner's Oath. This is a pretty reliable scout rifle that got a significant buff last season. So if you have not picked this up recently, I recommend uh, grabbing it now and hashtag taking the oath. It is uh, not at all bad in the current meta. For hunters, we've got Raiju's Harness. Uh, this is a pretty decent exotic, also uh, very useful in our current uh, ARC 3.0 world. However, the roll is very bad. It is 58 stats overall, got a lot of mobility in there, which you know isn't a bad thing in, uh, for hunters and for ARC, but uh, you can do a lot better if you're looking at this exotic. So unless you really need it, I would skip over this one. For Titans, we've got the Eternal Warrior again. This one is also a very decent stat roll. 66 overall uh, stats here. And, uh, you know, I would recommend picking this one up, except that we just got another roll of this. I think it was last week, and it was even better than this, in my opinion. So if you got the one last week, you don't need this one. But if you missed uh, last week, you've got another opportunity to grab a very, very good uh, Titan Exotic that also works with the new ARC 3.0 meta so uh, definitely pick that up if you want uh, and then finally is Aeon Soul uh, this is another exotic that uh, I, I don't really care for as a warlock and also it uh, it has a very low roll 61 overall would not recommend picking this one up unless you need it for your collections moving on to legendary weapons we've got the seventh serif carbine rifle I, I don't think they have gone a week without offering this rifle but here is yet another roll uh range finders good underdog i don't really care for on this weapon type uh, so i would skip over that one uh for chrysura Mello, this is a very good weapon an auto rifle for those who don't know and it's also a very good roll this week we've got dragonfly and outlaw which are fantastic but it also has a range masterwork which is nice for auto rifles it's got extended mag or steady rounds so i quite like this roll uh, if you're looking for a decent auto rifle in this day and age, I recommend uh, considering this one, certainly. Uh, then we've got Wolf Tone Draw. Great uh, bow. Uh, the roll this week is actually pretty good as well. Um, I won't really focus on bows because they all kind of oftentimes end up having the same perks, but uh, 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 this is a, a, a decent roll for this one. So if you're looking for a good Wolf Tone Draw, you don't have one in your collections, uh, you could do a lot worse. Cartesian Coordinate. Uh, this is a fusion rifle. Uh, I'm not crazy about the roll this week. It's okay. Uh, if you're looking for a fusion rifle, uh, you probably could find a better one than this. In fact, we're about to talk about one of those. But uh, I, I, uh, you know, if, if you happen to like this model or whatever, um, the roll this week isn't bad. Uh, Iota Draconis. Uh, this is a very similar uh, fusion rifle, a very similar roll. However, it has heating up, which I quite enjoy on fusion rifles. Uh, and uh, I also just kind of like this fusion rifle better uh, than Cortesian coordinate. coordinate. Uh, so I, I would say uh, probably pick this one up if you're having to pick between these two fusions. Uh, this tarantula, as many of you know, I'm sure, linear fusion rifles are extremely good at DPS. Uh, tarantula is not a bad one. This one has Rampage and Firmly Planted, both great perks. Uh, crouching and increasing your accuracy, stability, and handling is very useful for boss DPS. Uh, Rampage less so since you're focusing on one boss uh, but depending on your use case you might want to pick this one up anyway and finally frozen orbit this is probably my uh one of my main recommendations this week uh this is a uh, a decent sniper rifle in general but it's also got no distractions which is great uh and dragonfly which i really like on sniper rifles so recommend picking this one up we i don't think we've seen a frozen frozen orbit roll that's as good as this one in uh, recent memory so definitely pick up that one so yeah to, to summarize my top two recommendations in the legendary weapon department are this auto rifle right here Chris Romello and this view, uh, sniper rifle right here frozen orbit the other ones are just okay pick them up if you want 
Let's move on to Legendary Armor, and we're actually going to have a shorter episode this week for one simple reason. Uh, Warlocks and Hunters got really, really bad armor this week, and I could take the time to go and show you it, but honestly, my recommendation is going to be to skip all of it. So we're just going to focus on Titans this week because they got uh, one good roll, and that roll is right here, this chess piece. So if you are a Titan, you're looking for a good chess piece, this is a fantastic roll. It's got very low mobility, which I quite enjoy. Resilience and recovery are good. Uh, resilience is a little busted right now for Titans, but uh, that could change. So this, this armor is certainly worth picking up. And then 23 Intellect, which if you're like me and you really like enjoying, uh, you enjoy running around with your, uh, your super, uh, then this is a, a great role for that as well. 65 overall stats. It's hard to beat that. Uh, the other ones for Titan this week are very similar to Hunter and Warlock in that they're all pretty mid or low. Like these are all 60s. I just, I'm not in love with any of them, so I would say skip it. And uh, really, this this uh, chess piece for Titans is the only uh, legendary armor that I would recommend this week. So, not even going to really look at the Hunters and Warlocks just because it would kind of be a waste of your time. And with that, we are done this week. I uh, hope this was useful to you. Once again, I am Ty Guy Travis, and that has been Where is Zur and What is He Selling This Week? And uh, for everything else related to Destiny 2 and Zur and his curious... Uh, wares that he sells stick with IGN.